Hello and welcome to this edition of your AFN Honduras Daily News Update. I'm Army Sergeant Chad Guthrie. Internet security is a major concern for the military. Army Sergeant Michael Lemons tells us about the latest updates for Soto Cano. Air Force Master Sergeant David Green, the J-6 Superintendent, has issued an all-hands warning about two emails with the subject line, Firefighters are smoking hot and DOD common access card policy issue renewals. Both are considered spam and phishing emails. The guidance is to delete these. Do not open, reply, or click on the attachments. Information assurance is a top priority at Soto Cano, and remember, network security starts with you. Be on the lookout for suspicious emails and traffic with questionable subject lines sent from individuals you may not know. Army Sergeant Michael Lemons, AFN, Honduras. The Soto Cano volleyball season kicked off last night with all the teams coming together for the first games of the season. Army Sergeant Donnie Martin introduces us to one of the teams and how it stands out from the rest. The U.S. Navy team is a very special one indeed. Team Captain HM2 Ariel Cortez of Medell says he is happy the team could come together. Getting the group together just brought us together as close as friends, uh, considering we all work um, different units. This is one of the few times all of the sailors have been able to join together for one cause. Cortez says it's wonderful to have everyone together for the season. It just basically gives us uh, Navy pride as well as uh, Esprit de Corps. The team ended up losing its first matchup of the season to the cadets, two games to zero. You can come out and support the Navy team as well as all the others at Soto Cano every Tuesday and Thursday night. For AFN Honduras, I'm Army Sergeant Donnie Martin. That's it for this edition of your AFN Honduras Daily News Update. For more news on Soto Cano, visit the official Team Bravo homepage at jtfb.southcom.mil and listen to 106.5 The Power Lizard. For AFN Honduras, I'm Army Sergeant Chad Guthrie.